Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're in Reason 9.5. We got the sunshine coming in the window. We got sunshine coming in the window. It's lighting up the room. It's pretty exciting. It's kind of hurting my eyes a little bit. I'm a bit of a vampire. I probably should be wearing sunglasses. Anyway, we're talking about the NNXT. I've been using the NNXT a lot lately. Um, I just, I guess I never realized how useful of a device it is, how powerful of a device it is. Normally you'd use this for like multi-samples, but it's actually pretty uh, robust when you use it for just a single sample. Um, but there's a few uh, quick little tips that I figured I would pass along as far as things that I didn't realize until I really started messing with the device that really speeds up workflow and whatnot. Now I'm not going to really do a, an instructional video of the device because most any reason user knows what all this stuff does you know this stuff on top is global uh, this part is global and then all the light gray areas are sample specific in other words you can set all these things different for each individual sample um, but some of the things that often get overlooked are these three buttons up here select zone via MIDI solo sample and lock root key which I don't really use this as much but I'm actually not even sure what the hell that does, but these two buttons right here are very, very useful, as well as these buttons along the bottom. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and drag a sample into here. We're playing with these uh, these uh, prime loop, vocal loops, uh, vintage movie uh, vocals. These are kind of fun. They're just kind of fun, you Tonight, know. Take a look at the barometer. We were loading out in Singapore. Take a look at the barometer. Take a look at the barometer. So what you want to do is you can basically just drag this in here, you know, drag and drop now with the new browser. Let's go ahead and close that off. Now, when you drag a sample into the NNXT, it's going to automatically put it across, you know, basically five octaves of the keyboard. Uh, everything's going to be set to C3 for the root. Take a look at the barometer. So if you hit C3, obviously you're in key. And then if you hit like a C2, you're down an octave. C4, you're up an octave. You know, so you can set the low and the high key right here. So let's set this to, you know, the C3. Let's set the uh, high key to C3. And then basically what you have here is you have Take a look at the this sample just on C3. All other keys are, are empty. They're blank. And then the root is also set to C3. So you can see this is basically a very good position for the samples as far as when you start to use this for a multi-sample. But uh, a quick tip that some people might or might not know is, uh, let's go ahead and delete this, is if you drag multiple samples, let's just drag a shitload of samples in here, uh, you hit the first one, hit sh hold down shift, click the last one, just drag all these into here. Now you can see it's going to automatically just stack them up on top of one another, which is not, not a very good behavior. If I hit C3 now, my god, it's just a mess because it's playing all the samples. Um, but this is when the select uh, the, the solo sample button comes in uh, very useful. If you click on the solo sample button, it will just play the sample that you have selected over here, which is a useful tip to me. Only fellow catch him here, top single file now. Don't ask me why. She's a brand new ship tonight. We single file now, one. Whatever you say, sir, you're the captain. Now, what I would recommend is when you drag a bunch of samples, and another huge quick tip is if you hit Control A, you'll select them all. Now, if you right click, you're going to get this sub menu. These down at the bottom, these are very, very useful uh, things, very powerful options here. Um, my favorite one is Auto Map Zones Chromatically. What this is going to do is it's going to put each of the samples I have selected on separate keys, and it's also going to set the root to the key that it puts the sample on. I'm going to go ahead and click on this here and what it's done is it started with my C1 and it set the uh, root to C1. If you come down here to another sample, this is uh, F1. So it put it on F1 key and it also set the root to F1. So basically what this has done is it's assigned a sample to each individual key and it set the root to that key very very useful very very powerful let's go ahead and try this 8 p.m. whatever you say sir you're the only fellow catch him here Tuck. single file now one four days late tonight we unroll it let's well now let's take a look at the barometer I'm sorry sir anyway that's how it started at the this button up here called select zone via MIDI that's when this button gets valuable here is if you click on that when you hit a key well now let's see it's gonna bring up all the options for the sample that is on that key well now 
So example, this key here, I'm gonna let's just bring the resonance all the way up. Now let's hit another I'm sorry, key. Sir. You can see that it's actually selected that sample via the MIDI note you hit. Not only that, but it's it's uh, switched all the parameters for that. Well, now let's see. Um, Take a look. I'm sorry. Tonight, unroll it. Well, anyway, I tagged it. Well, Take a look. I'm sorry. Anyway. So what's valuable about this is you can hit the key, hear the sample, and see all the parameters for that sample. So this this is a select zones via MIDI button. Super powerful button. A lot of people don't even may not even realize it's there but once i discovered this button i was like wow this is oh, a a young man anyway may i tag typhoon i got him oh i'm sorry sir unroll it well now unroll it well now unroll it well typhoon unroll it well now unroll it well typhoon you know so if you put midi notes into your sequencer as the midi notes pass the sequencer it, it'll actually select them as well and so uh what's good is you let that sequence play and then it will stop on each MIDI note. You can make adjustments, and you can click this on and off, and it will freeze it. You I'm know. sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. All right, let's go ahead and go back and just throw a single sample in this, because I wanted to show you another very, very useful thing about the NNXT is you can right-click, go to Edit Sample, and what that's going to do is it's going to open up the sample window. This is an old-school sample window, but it's very, very powerful. Why this is powerful is if you watch these values down here mainly the start the end the loop the uh, the mode all that stuff as i make adjustments in the the sample editor it's going to actually change these values down here in the multi sampler so like the starting position you can see when i let go it has changed the value there um, if i set this to forward and backwards you can see it's changed that value in the multi sampler so I can basically set this up in a visual way you know set up in a visual way what's going on I can also adjust the root key as well I can actually select my root key and you can see it's actually changing right there um, I can play the sample. 300 extra miles in distance. Snitzed in the amber scattered in the here. 300 extra miles in distance. Snitzed in the amber scattered in the here. 300 scattered in the here. 300 scattered in the here. 300 scattered in the here. So yeah, that is something that I just actually uh, came upon recently. Um, what I would like is if the sample editor was actually kind of renovated a little bit and you had all these options that are in the bottom here if you had them all accessible in the actual sample editor because I really really like seeing the waveform especially if I'm looping if I'm looping I really like to see the waveform to set my loop points here um, but again you can set you can set your root key you can rename the sample and you can set your uh, your loop mode as well as your uh, start and stop points and your loop points as well then you can of course solo your sample which is useful if you're playing a multi sampler where maybe your sequencer is clicking on several different samples at once you can solo so you can just hear the sample you're affecting you know you can select a crossfade here which if you got if you got a lot of pops you know a little bit of a popping issue you can select that crossfade and you can also crop the sample so once you hit crop it's actually going to set your start and end point to zero zero it's basically uh, committing to your crop let's just go ahead and control z that um, and then once this is all set visually you can just hit save I wish this didn't say save I wish it just said a uh, you know alter or something because this is only affecting the sample inside your um, your reason project so you're saving the sample within reason you're not actually affecting the sample on the hard drive which is a little bit misleading so if I hit save at this point now you've affected that key 300 x header in the here, 300 x header in the here, 300 x header in the here, 300 x header in the here. So that's a super, super powerful tip. Rather than turning all these potentiometers down here, just right click and go edit sample. And a lot of those, you have access to a lot of that stuff right here in the sample editor. So it's a much, much easier, better way to work, especially when you take into account if you're just using the NNXT for a single sample. So that's pretty much the end of this tutorial I just wanted to uh, let you know about those three or four or five power tips concerning the NNXT um, just experiment around because I really didn't like this device just because I didn't like the idea of turning 
these uh, these real stats and like it just it seemed very n not intuitive i really really like to look at the uh, sample waveform when i'm messing with it especially a single sample when it comes to a single sample i really really like to uh, look at the waveform especially when i'm adjusting the start and stop and any kind of loop points i like to look at the waveform and this is a way that you can actually see the waveform and set those points up hit save and then it will basically uh, record all that information in the nnxt uh, for that particular sample anyway if you haven't already please subscribe give a thumbs up tell a friend about the channel comment um and uh yeah we'll see you guys again thanks now